Let's host Emmys. Colin Farrell will be there. You still have crush? I didn't think these were going public. Dan and Eugene Levy kick off the Emmys, and it's giving Major Johnny and David Rose vibes. The father-son duo take to the stage at the 76th annual award show for TV's biggest night, and off bat, Dan makes sure to address a common mispronunciation of their last name. I think most of you know we are not stand-up comedians. No, in fact, I wouldn't even really call us hosts. Mm -hmm. We're more like, like what, like actors? Acting, acting like hosts, which is a huge gamble for us. But if it goes well tonight, my name is pronounced Levy, not Levy. <laughs> and if things go south, my name is pronounced Martin Short. <laughs> Eugene then shares that his most special role is being dad to not Dan. Without question, my most rewarding dad role ever has been being your dad. in Schitt's Creek. Because it got me my first acting Emmy. Yeah. Why are we applauding bad parenting? And while announcing the many nominations for the night, the two make a quick dig at The Bear, which is up for many awards in the comedy category about how many fans are wondering if it's actually a comedy. I love the show, and I know some of you might be expecting us to make a joke about whether The Bear is really a comedy. But in the true spirit of the bear, we will not be making any jokes. And to close out their monologue, Dan shares a warning to all the winners of the night that they might kill his dad if they don't wrap up their speeches. Two Canadians have been put in charge of playing you off tonight. Canadians don't like interrupting anybody. It no. goes against our nature. Confrontation in general is anxiety inducing, especially for my 77 year old father, okay? I don't like the it. The man is frailer than he looks. He gets palpitations from time to time. I'm hearing about tendonitis. Okay, that's, so good. that's good. No, no, the point, the point, the point is, Yeah. if you're gonna say anything meaningful or emotional or God forbid political, just, you know, keep it short because the pressure alone on me. Yeah, I don't wanna be alarmist here, but having to cut you off could kill this man.